Okay, so I did a poll about a couple of days ago and I asked you guys what type of videos you guys want to see on this channel. And 50% of you guys said Jeep videos. So for today's video, I decided to do how much I spent plus where I bought everything for the Jeep, if you have a Jeep. Um, but before this video starts, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and keep on watching. <laughs> So the first thing that I got was these um, armor pads, they're like armor little side grips. So for Amazon, I just went on the Amazon mobile and I put in Jeep Wrangler armor. And I believe it was the second one um, from Amazon's choice. I think it was like $13.99. So I got this, installed it. Make sure you guys clean it. If you get it, clean um, the little side with like some alcohol, just clean off the dirt and then it should have like some stickies, just paste it on. And that's the first thing that I bought. So for the back of the car, I got these tail lights. I really wanted something that matched my car because I wanted to do a all black Jeep Wrangler. And on Amazon, I just put Jeep Wrangler LED tail lights and you just scroll down. And I believe these were about 80 bucks, but they were well worth it because it matches my car really good. And when you see it at night, it looks really cool compared to the original stock lights so this one was a really good buy and for the back i also got a tail cover for the brake light now this is the jeep wrangler logo jeep wrangler logo and at night when you press the brake like it's red and then it looks really cool at night so this thing was about 13 bucks and it looks pretty cool so for the front of the car i have these um, oh, that was my knee. I have these Jeep Wrangler Halo headlights. So I found these on Amazon. I couldn't find the exact link that I bought it from, but they were about $100. Um, these were kind of pricey because not only the lights were $100, I had to have someone install it for another $100. So in total, I paid around $200 because these have um, amber turn signals. So when you do turn signals, these are white. And then when you turn, it turns to a amber color. And so that's why it was expensive because you need someone to wire it. Anyway, the second thing that I got were these um, Razer Auto Crawler LED turn signals. Now, from the previous Jeep, um, all the older models have an orange turn signal. It's like an orange and when you turn, it starts blinking orange and it just looks old and outdated. And, um, all you put is Razer Auto Crawler LED turn signals. I believe these are $75 and you can install this yourself because you don't have to wire. All you do is just plug it in and it's good to go. Okay, so the next thing that I got was this Angry Grill. It was, I think, about $115 but it looks really cool. It matches my paint really well because they sell some grills that are matte and I'm just, I want everything to look the same. So this one was really good. And the thing that I like about it is that um, it covers the inside because the original grills, they have them empty and you can see the engine inside, which makes it look a little bit ugly. Um, so the thing that I like about this one is that everything's covered. It has a nice design and it looks really good. The next thing that I got was this license plate. Um, I believe it was $50 for two plates. And the weird thing, I don't know if it's true or not, but the lady at the DMV told me that these come from prison. So that's why it takes so long to get. I think it's like, it took me about four and a half months to get my plates. But yeah, that's why they take forever is because they come from prison. So I don't know if that's true or not. If it is true, let me know down below or if it's not. thing that I got are these door handles. These were, um, I believe, 5 for $25.99. Um, it's really easy. All you do is just clean it and then stick it on. And this thing was, I recommend it because it just looks better. Like so for the inside, I actually upgraded the stereo because the stereo that came before was actually the stock one. It had the little turn thingy and you had to press buttons for the radio. This one is cool because you have Bluetooth, um, I don't know, I, I haven't done iPod, Pandora, and then radio, and it's all touchscreen. So this one was about um, 300 for the stereo. This is a Kenwood 2017, and then to install it was another 100, so it was about 400. And then on top, I just have my iPad, and I can, I mainly use this for GPS, so when 
whenever I have to go somewhere without looking at my phone, I just have my iPad with the GPS, I mean the directions, and then it's like way easier like that. So um, that's the inside of the car. Morning of the night.